Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Bio here, and this is going to be some free for all on sub base. Going to be using the intervention, the one, the only. God, I miss that weapon. I miss it very much so. Going to be using the intervention, and my title for this class is going to be appropriately titled, I do believe. Uh, my name is Hutch, as I'm going to be going for the quick scope. It's going to be quick scoping, man. Or uh, at least I'm going to attempt to. <laughs> I was never. Um, I used back when Modern Warfare 2 was still big, was still it. All that in a bag of chips and so on and so forth. I tried to do this for a little while, a couple months. I uh, got better at, got better at it, got competent. Um, never up to quite the level of perhaps like a Moody Sweet or something to that effect. Although I don't think he does videos anymore, which is kind of a bummer. I really enjoyed them, but uh, yeah, I never got up to that level quite entirely. And so <laughs> when I when I started playing, it's like, oh man, I'm gonna suck. I gotta get, I gotta warm back up, and I'm like, warm back up to what? <laughs> Where was I at? But uh, I don't. Uh, I think I do all right here. So just uh, yeah, let me know. If I'm, t if I'm bad, if I'm good, terrible, amazing, somewhere in between, which is most likely what it's going to be at. And I tried to shoot that guy in the butt there, but it did not pan out as planned. Uh, kill streak's pretty, uh, pretty normal for me when I try to do sniping game. Uh, UAV, counter UAV, and I believe the Harrier is so some kind of kill streak where I'm not, uh, not too involved. Just kind of set it and forget it, if you will. But uh, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I do all right. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people of often wonder about that when I talk about myself and uh, my skills, my elite skills or lack thereof. I often, they often you know, ask why, why I either do self-deprecating humor or I just, you know, say that I'm not really that, that great when they think that I am. And first off, I mean, you guys only see when, when I do really great. More often than not, much more often than not, I fail, I do terrible, I do things that if you were to watch, you'd be like, oh my gosh, this guy's awful, get him out of here, fire him and shut him up. More often than not, that's what would happen. But uh, through the through the miracle of video editing and capturing, I am able to only pick and choose what goes on well, what what happens that is good and well, and the world will be happy and peaceful. And I don't know where I'm going this, but so that's that's nice. And uh, second off, when it when it comes to Call of Duty, I realize I'm not the best of player. Uh, I simply don't put enough time into it. And same thing goes for Halo. It's just Call of Duty. I just you know I'm more of a more of a pub star. I'm, I'm ready to admit that. I've admitted it before, and I'll say it again. I totally understand. <laughs> I've definitely, I've tried to play this game competitively once. I went to a tournament, and we made it pretty far, but then once we, we hit a team that knew what they were doing, they just spawn raped us, and we just, you know, got our crap shoved up, basically. So, that, uh, that was the extent of my Call of Duty competitive experience, and I will not be going back <laughs> anytime soon. Halo on the other side. I can, uh, I am much more competent on a competitive level. I'm still not the best, but I try to... I try to compare myself to the pros because I feel that although I'm not the best, I am I am close enough to where it is a fair comparison to make, or at least, you know, it's a comparison I make in order to better improve myself, because you might as well look at the best if you're close enough. If you're if you're a new player and you look at the best, you're gonna kill yourself after a while because you're gonna you're gonna see that comparison and see how far away you are and it's just gonna be like, I'll never make it that far. <laughs> but uh, I'm I feel that I'm fairly competent enough to do that for for Halo at least. Call of Duty, uh uh. Mm mm. <laughs> not happening. But, uh, yeah, that is, that is that. But, uh, as for the reason for this video, I've just been hankering for quick scoping. I wasn't a huge person to do it when Modern Warfare 2 was still popular, but for whatever reason, I just, I love it. It's, it is a lot of, it has been a lot of fun lately, and it's just, I don't want to say it's so easy, but it's so much easier compared to the, the other games that it seems like it's easy. <laughs> I mean, more, more games than not, I only get, like, second or third place. You don't get, like, 20-some-odd kills before the person in first place wins. So not not so great, but uh, this one I end up doing, I end up doing all right. Not too shabby, shabadella. So that, that is that, sir. Indeed. But it, uh, I have been, I've been looking back at all the other games out there and whatnot. When it comes, at least when it comes to Call of Duty and sniping and whatnot, you know, a lot of people are like, oh man, is it going to be quick scoping a Modern Warfare 3? Is it going to be like 2? Is it going to be, it's going to be like Black Ops and so on and so forth? And just kind of looking at all the different Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty games. Call, wait, what would, I, what would that be? I just did a spoon, spoonerism. Call of Duty games? I don't even know how. I just, I can't even backwards my spoonerisms. That's, I feel retarded. But I've just been looking at all the different Call of Duty games, and one thing I noticed about it is unlike uh, other series like Halo that I want to make a comparison to, it seems that there's quite a division amongst players on what their favorite game is. So right now Black Ops sees about, whenever I'm online, about 500,000 people, at least on Xbox Live. PS, uh, PS Network, I have no idea. Uh, I will assume probably somewhere about that, maybe a little less. But about 500,000 people online. Whenever I hop on to Modern Warfare 2, however, I still see about, you know, 150,000 people online. 
which is kind of interesting. And then uh, Call of Duty 4, I don't believe there's a counter for how many people there's online. I haven't played that in a while. But I can, you know, based on what I've seen from a lot of directors, uh, there, there's still a lot of number, or excuse me, a large number of people still playing that game. And there's definitely, there's definitely different camps that people have set up. You know, there's the people that say, oh, Call of Duty 4 is the best game ever. All Call of Duty's after us. Shock, rah, 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 rebel, rebel, rebel. And there's the people who say, you know, Modern Warfare 2 was a pretty good game. It was a lot of fun. It was interesting. And, you know, I like it better. And they're still continuing to play it. I mean, mainly, if I see a lot of people studying this quick scoping aspect. Oh, yes. He's mad. You mad, bro? You mad? You mad? You mad? He mad. He, <laughs> he mad. Oh, yeah. But no, I still see a lot of people coming back to Modern Warfare 2 for a lot of the things that you can't do in Black Ops, like quick scoping, uh, knifing only because it's a little bit easier, and whatnot because of Commando, where you can lunge at people halfway across the map and whatnot. And then obviously you have the Black Ops, Black Ops Squad. And for to make a comparison, when you look at Halo, that isn't the same at all. I mean, everybody's playing Reach. There's maybe a couple thousand people playing Halo 3. And obviously Halo 2 isn't even online anymore. They turned the offline off except for the online off. The offline off. <laughs> they turned the online off except for the PC, which I imagine there's probably not too many PC gamers playing Halo 2. I could be wrong. There could be a ton of, you know, uh, Halo 2 people from the Xbox who switched over to PC. Like uh, Knight of Light, he kind of does that. But uh, So it's just interesting that, that a split off has happened that, you know, after... After each successive game, the whole group of fans at large doesn't just move on to the next game. They stick on to the previous for a while. And so I just, I, I don't know, I just took notice of that. I thought it was kind of interesting, something to point out, and something to ponder to, you know, kind of grope my beard and get a kind of get a kind of a squint going on like I don't exactly know what's going on. You know the face. You know what I'm talking about. I don't really have a beard, so this isn't working too well. So, <laughs> But you get the point I'm making. It's interesting. Let me... What do you guys think? Why, why is that? And I understand, you know, everyone's got their own crazy opinions, but try to keep it, uh, try to keep it level-headed, and try to keep the the uh, the troll hounds at bay, if you will. And I believe this game is going to about come to a close here. If I don't uh, get shot up by an SMG, and again, if I stop failing here, I think I died. A, I think I died a couple times in a row with my final death. I didn't. I stopped. Stopped doing so well after that host switch. And, oh yeah, that's right. No no 360s, sorry. My bad. <laughs> but that's going to be it for this game, guys. Final score is going to be 30 kills, 12 deaths. Let me know if you like the gameplay. Let me know if you thought I was good, bad, in between. So on and so forth. I do appreciate the feedback. I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.